Hi everyone, welcome to this weekly vlog. It is actually Friday and I haven't done any vlogging. We've just moved to the island of Fuerteventura. As you know, if you've been following me, we have been waiting a long time for this move. So all very exciting. We actually flew over on Monday and I was going to vlog the like the whole leaving the UK thing, but actually we stayed with my dad on Sunday and then I, you know, I was chatting that to him on Monday morning and then we drove to Bristol and we met up with my mum and my nephew and I just wanted to enjoy the time with them um, and mum and I sort of said, right, you know, we're not going to be sad about this, it's exciting and... Um, so actually, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be to say goodbye to them all. Um, and they'll come and visit and I'll still go back and, and back to the UK and everything. So it was fine. It was fine. And I'm glad I got to see them all just before I left. Um, so then we got to Bristol, to the airport. And... Um, that was quite traumatic. We had four big suitcases and with my stupid back, I couldn't really help. They were charging two pounds for a trolley in Bristol Airport. So poor Martin had to sort of, you know, hike these great big suitcases around and we we checked them in and got rid of them, went through. Um, our flight was supposed to be at 10 to 2. We all got on the plane and then they said that something was wrong with the back door of the plane. And it turned out just to be a little bit of plastic had got caught in the back door so they couldn't close it properly. And actually that they were very good. The, like, the mechanics at Bristol Airport came out and they fixed it within an hour and we managed to get our slot and EasyJet were very good. So... That it was fine. And then when during the flight, they kept making these announcements about how the fact that you're not allowed to vape when you're on an aeroplane and if people continued to do so or they were even caught holding their vapes, then, you know, they would be in big trouble. And I felt quite sorry for the crew because they were obviously having a problem. I didn't really sort of see any of it and I didn't smell any vaping or anything like that. But Anyway, when we landed, and we landed with a bump, I have to say at Fuerteventura Airport, it just, they did bounce the plane down the runway a bit. Um, so we landed probably about seven o'clock, because we were an hour late, and the captain came on and he said, I'm sorry, but nobody is allowed to get up yet. You all need to remain seated with your seat belts done up, because we have called the authorities because, you know, certain people on this flight have not obeyed the rules and they've kept vaping. Made me proud to be British, not. So we all had to sit there and wait for the Guarda Civil to come on and I don't know if they arrested the people or they just took them away and, um, I don't know, gave them a telling off. I, sh I would imagine they got fined, actually, and... Again, I felt really sorry for the EasyJet crew because they were, you know, they, they're just trying to do their job. Everybody knows you, you can't do that on a plane. Anyway, so we got off the plane. We found all our four massive suitcases. Luckily, they weren't charging anything for a trolley in Fuerteventura Airport. So we just pushed them out and um, came here. So we're staying up the hill from Coletta de Fuste and we've got a gorgeous view, which I will show you at some point. As I've just said, I haven't done much vlogging. Um, we've had lots of appointments to attend. We've bought a car, which we had to go and collect. And then the battery was flat, so we had to get the breakdown people to come out and start it. Um, we've looked at lots of houses already so we're sort of registered with all the estate agents we've we found a lady who speaks Spanish and English who will help us with things like um, insurance and the car transfer and when it when we do buy our house she will help us make wills 
she's she's a marvel i have to say she's brilliant taxes anything like that and so many people have said to me you do need to find somebody like that over here because you will need help with things like that um because we've got a non-lucrative visa we've had to go and make an appointment at the town hall to sign on to the empadron one of our friends came with us to that to help us with that and we have to go on monday to collect that once we've got that we can then go to our tie appointment at the police station and our spanish lady is going to come with us to that and help us out with that but i promise next week i will vlog all these things it's just been a, a little bit you know chaotic um i did do a bit of vlogging today so i will put that on um in a minute and then I will vlog on Saturday and a bit on Sunday. We've got friends coming over on Sunday. So again, I won't do loads of vlogging then and let you know what we're up to. I, but I just wanted to, to get some kind of a vlog up, mainly as well, just to see how the internet is and how easy it is for me to upload stuff. But the weather has been absolutely amazing. I'm already feeling better. My back feels better. My diet has improved 100%, I have to say. I'm being really good, really healthy. Um, I've been doing my exercises. I've been doing at least 12,000 steps every day. So, you know, all is well. Um, so I'll show you what else we're going to get up to for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And then the week after, we'll be back to the proper weekly vlogs. We're going to head down now to the seafront and just walk around until it's time for our next estate agency appointment and um, just enjoy the sun and the sea. It's Saturday morning and it's quite warm already. It's only 20 to 10 and it's really a gorgeous day having a bit of a heat wave here. We're in our new little car. Well, it's not a new car. It's actually really old, but for us, it's new. We're going to drive down to Coletta. There's like an event going on on the beach. I'm not really quite sure what it is. It's some sort of like extreme obstacle course thing. We're not going to take part. Um, it's for proper athletes. But we're going to go and have a look and just soak up the atmosphere and enjoy this lovely sunny Saturday. Maggie? Gracias, thank you. Muerta, muerta, pero bueno, ahí te vi echándolo todo, súper bien. De eso se trata, ahí eso, eso justo es, así que el reto está puesto y hay que terminarlo. ¿no? Como les decía, vas a hacer entrega de trofeos, un poquito más allá. We're back and I've just driven the car round and round this bit behind me. Hang on, I'll turn you around and show you. I'm a bit of a wimp when it comes to driving, so I need to get used to like driving on the other side of the road and doing the gears with the other hand, but I did okay and I made a start today. This is my lunch today. I've got some mackerel and tomato sauce, beetroot, tomato, I've got a mint and lettuce salad, some courgette that I just fried off, some sweet potato that I fried off, and this yummy is my favourite little dressing from Mercadona. It's like a yogurty one. And I'm going to go and sit out there in the sunshine and eat it. We're just down at the Atlantico shopping centre now, waiting for our friends. We've managed to get our photos done. We Actually, the photo booth thing was in English as well as Spanish, so it wasn't really that much of a hassle. So that's good. And hopefully the little cafe where the um, that's sort of stuck out into the sea will be open. So we might go there for a coffee and then 
I really want to get in the sea. It's absolutely gorgeous now. It was a bit cloudy earlier, but it's really nice now, isn't it? So a oh, little, yes. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, didn't know a you little, were talking to a me. little <laughs> swim might be on the cards a bit later. This is where we had coffee and I absolutely love this place. It's so nice sitting out like with the ocean all around you and the coffee's really reasonable. The service is very good as well. After that, we went back to the Atlantico and had a sandwich with our friends for um, lunch. Then we bumped into another friend, so we chatted to her for a bit and then we went for a swim in the sea. Such a lush day. That's it for this week's vlog. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week on Sunday, which hopefully will be a longer vlog because I will actually try to vlog every day. Take care. Bye.